quickness and power on the ropes. And showing poise. Even yeah. though you could say he's not taking advantage, he is. He's just making sure that he's got the right shots available to him. Yeah, he's being very careful, very precautious. The reason why? Because Mr. Guaza has power. But it doesn't show in this fight that Guaza has the weapons to try to, to knock out Clarence Adams. Adams is showing a lot of poise. Showing a, a, another right another hand, good, right man. at the end of the round. A good stiff jab to try to hold Nestor back. Another right. Seventh round comes to an end. Bones Adams pitching nearly a shutout tonight. But Garza is still there. I get more from the ball. You're doing beautiful. Hey, you're doing beautiful. Come on. Get the oxygen in. It's your night, baby. You're doing everything we're asking. Come on. And then some, Bones, and then some. It's all about hand speed, it's all about combination punching, and it's about power for Bones Adam. Throwing a variety of punches. Gets Garza against the ropes and just nails him. There's Clarence Adam, Bones Adam working that jab, working that right uppercut, left hook. He just hand speed, connecting good shots. There was a left hook that landed flush on the jaw of Mr. Garza. Mr. Garza trying to avoid the rest of the combination punches. Let him make the mistakes. Let him make the mistakes, okay? You Look just at keep the punch being the master out there. Adams Adams with Adams with Adams. a huge margin. In the last round, Adams landed 21 power shots to only 10 for Garza. I got a feeling there's a lot of shocked people right now in Reynosa, Mexico, as they watch their hero in the ring tonight being handled very well by Mr. Adams. Round eight. Well, the buzz here in Las Vegas for the last week and a half has been one of the best underdogs in the last several months in boxing was this man, Bones Adams. And a lot of the smart money, if you will, here in Las Vegas was on Bones Adams to, to win this fight, and he is showing that the smart money was smart. <laughs> Absolutely. It usually is in this town. Yeah. Comes in as only the eighth-ranked contender. And he doesn't look like an eighth rank contender to me. No, he doesn't. Looks very good tonight. He looks There's a little left contender. hand jab to the jaw that pushed the head of Garza back. It's amazing that Bones seems to impose his will when he wants to. You know, at the age of seven, when he was an amateur, remember the show, the old show, That's Incredible? He was on it as a guest because they thought he was so extraordinary as a boxer at the age of seven. Well, he could do the That's Incredible 2 story tonight because what he's done has been incredible. Right. Tonight he's just put his game plan in gear. He's worked real good. His combinations are working good. And he has a champion on his way to a defeat. Did you see him loop that little hook in there like that? Like yeah. this from a different, from a strange angle? He's just, he's just teeing off. The interesting thing is the cut over the eye of Garza has been handled by his corner people. Did an excellent job of it. Oh, There's a right hand to the jaw hand. once again. Garza's found himself on the ropes time and time again. But Adams shows patience. He backs off, makes Garza come to the middle of the ring where he wants him. He knows he's in with a dangerous fight. Oh, oh low, low, low by, by Nestor Garza. Give him a little time to recover. That one was way south of the equator. Yeah. Bones Adams sticking that jab, sticking it out. I don't think he, I don't think Bones Adams wants to stay in close. I believe that Garza is a little frustrated and he's throwing some punches on intentionally, most likely, to try to take that the leg movement away from, from Bones Adams. Now Garza's been KO'd before and has only lost to Angel Rosario. He was knocked out of that fight, so he can be gotten out of it. He's been down twice here in this fight. Well, Adams isn't going to fight him close because he doesn't have to. <laughs> and after Garza just, just connected a pretty good right to the side of the year of, of Bones Adams. If you want to see somebody working from the outside, Get this tape, folks, because Bones Adams has shown you how to do it. Good combination there. Another couple of punches snuck in. You see guys are shaking his head just a little bit because it's it should start taking its toll by now. I do believe that those punches that Bones Adams has connected to the body and to the head have been taking its toll on Garza. No, how you feel, hey, Garza? No, no, no. Not the they're telling, they're telling, no, no, don't answer me like that because I, I know you're not feeling good. No, if you don't, if you don't throw punches, we're gonna have to stop this fight. Bueno. 
Ya vas, y este es el 9. Garza, to this left, took it straight pretty low. Yeah, and uh, you see the grimace of Bones Adams. Bones Adams right here with that good right hand that reached that sent Nestor back to the ropes. He took his time, backed off, made Nestor get off the ropes. Very nice. That punch was that punch was right on the U and the K. He's wearing the Kentucky colors, as we've noticed tonight. So. Kentucky did pretty well today in basketball for the Florida. So there, it's a big day for the Kentucky folks. You know, Garza only threw 16 punches in that last round, so his punch output went very low, and that was part of the reason why his corner man said, "You got to throw punches, or we're going to stop this fight." The, the corner people are feeling that Nestor Garza is not feeling good right now. I think concern for their fighter. They understand he's not, you know, where he's supposed to be, and they don't want him fighting if he's hurting and if he's not performing well. Why should he get hurt when he knows he's not going to win the fight? You see this rate. But you see, they, they don't seem to understand that Mr. Barnes is trying to do his best, but they got a better fighter in front of him right now with a good tactic, with good hand speed, and who could take some good punch. Because, I mean, obviously, you know, Mr. Garza has, hasn't been able to land a good punch. And if Adams can continue this performance, he certainly made a believer out of a lot of people tonight. There was another low blow by Nestor Garza. And if he keeps it up, he's going to lose a point, but I think it's sort of a desperation point. He hasn't been able to tag him anywhere. You know, when, when, you're, when you're in a world title fight like this, and the way you see the fight, the way I'm looking at the fight right now, you know, it's desperation all the way. Now you have to go out there and, and fight this fight. You got four rounds to try to win this fight. Something that's going to be kind of hard to do because Bones Adams is a real good fighter. People have been waiting for a while to see this kind of performance from Adams. They've seen good performances, but he has not put it together as he has in this match. And he's been in against the likes of Kevin Kelly, Orlando Canizales, Frankie Toledo. Very good for Edwin Santana. Good fighters in which he's come up just a little bit short in a couple of instances. But tonight he has indeed put it all together. Do you guys think he's being a little bit cautious right now, considering he has uh, piled up some rounds? Well, not a little bit. I, I don't believe that he is. I just think that he, you know, he's trying to make Mister make mistakes, and that way he can counter off him. Yeah, the counter punching is where he's generated a lot of his power, so he's hoping for that. Well, he's a counter puncher, like you said, Al, and this is a perfect situation for a counter puncher. There's a good straight right on, a good right up the cut. Nestor Garza has absorbed a lot of punches, and he never knows when they're going to come. Right there, Nestor Garza was complaining about a rabbit punch. But, I mean, you know, it, it was unintentional. Bones Adams was out there doing a combination, and while well, Nestor ducked in and got hit in the back wall, that's unintentional. Just in that last six seconds, we saw him land the jab and then just throw right at Will. And, and oh, it seems like he can land the punches punch when he wants to. That's a good beat. It's got to be for him, because... Um, and the other impressive thing, I think, is because of his movement, his defensive skills, he's not getting hit very much. Mr. Garza, instead of trying to reach in and trying to land those hooks to the face, he ought to try to work that body, right, something right, that right, I right. haven't seen him do. You can't, no, that's you, true, and he's a good body puncher. You know, Bones Adams is moving, moving around, using good side-to-side -side movements. You have to kill that, those legs, and that's something that Garza's not doing. We'll be going to the 10th round. And we have to, I mean, you know, go, Bones Adams is not going to stay there and get hit. You no. have to find a way to cut that ring off, and Garza is not able to do that. Okay. Okay. You, throw, you throw your right hand over his shoulder, and bingo, come yeah. back with a little yeah. Come on. And roll your hands in you front of you. Smart, roll baby. Come on. He don't know where you're going when you're rolling your hands in front hey. of you. Okay? okay? He don't know. Roll it. Now look at the punch numbers. You see okay. Adams with a huge yeah. margin. No and he's throwing so on. many more. He's not landing at a great percentage, 26%, but it doesn't matter when you're throwing so many more and you're landing a lot more. I do believe this is desperation time for Nesto Garza. He's going to have to go in there and gamble everything he got. Well, we're wondering if he has enough tonight because his corner has been very skeptical about his chances. As we enter round 10, Bones Adams was always prepared to go the distance in this fight. I'm not so sure Nestor Garza was. You know, whenever, whenever you're going to defend a belt, you know, I do believe that you have to be in good shape. And Nestor Garza, he's been here with some good, solid shots. He's been down a couple of times. He's gotten up. 
And he looks like he's in good shape because, I mean, if you, if you weren't in shape, you would have not got enough on those shots that he took. That's for sure. 29 knockouts Garza has in 38 professional fights, and he's going to need one here, I do believe, if he's going to win this fight. Interesting thing about Adams' career is that all his losses came within a like, one-year period in 1993 uh, through 94. Lost to Orlando Canizales, Frankie Toledo, and Jeff Trimble right in a row. And uh, they were all bad luck losses. And since then, he's undefeated with only two draws. So things have taken a decidedly better turn for him, and they're taking an excellent turn this evening. And he talked about that period when he had the shoulder problems and had a misdiagnosis and finally found a different doctor who said it's not what you thought it was. We're going to have to completely rebuild it. So it takes a while, just like a baseball pitcher, to rebuild for such a serious right. surgery. People may not realize, look at the, uh, the pounding that those shoulders take in the sport anyway. So it takes a while to get yourself back up to speed, a year or two maybe, even after you had successful surgery.